So let's talk about how you can take your videos from looking like this to this. For this setup, we're going to be using OBS as well as an iPhone camera. So if you want to learn how to set that up, make sure you check out this video. I'll be showing you a new free alternative filter for OBS that you can use to set a sweet blur effect. And this is mostly for those of you that know about Streamlabs and probably can't use it anymore because it's now paid. Then I will show you how to set up the cinematic blow mode plus studio light. This already sounds interesting. Let's get started. The OBS filter is called Background Remover and I have dropped a link to the GitHub download page in the description. Once you are on the download page, scroll down to Asset and download the one for your operating system. Then follow the prompts and install it. After that, open OBS, select your scene and then select your video capture device. This should be your iPhone camera from our last setup. Click on filters and then click on the plus icon under the effect filters. If you have installed the background remover filter correctly, it will show up here. Make sure to restart your OBS software once you install it correctly in order for it to show up. Now, select the background remover filter, specify the name of the filter and hit OK. Next, you have to configure it to your taste and the first thing to do is to increase the value of the threshold. I usually set it to somewhere around 0.6. Or you can play with it. Then scroll down to blow background factor and increase it. As you can see, this essentially blows the background completely in real time. You can also increase the blow focus depth settings to somewhere around 0.3. There are other settings there as well, so you can try them out and configure it to your taste. After that, you can click on the close button. So next, let's talk about how you can add a cinematic or portrait mode blow and studio light. This is really simple actually but most people wouldn't notice it because it's kind of hidden in plain sight. So move your mouse to the top of the screen to reveal the menu bar. You'll see an icon that looks like this. Click on it and you'll see a section for your iPhone's camera. Click on that as well. Then you'll see the portrait and studio light options. To activate the portrait mode, click on the F icon. Then click on the drop down on the right to reveal the setting slider. Play around with it till you get what makes sense for you. Repeat the same steps for the studio light option. Activate it by clicking on the box icon and then drag the slider to a value that looks good for you. Please make sure to like this video if you found it helpful as this helps our channel to grow. Thank you for watching and see you in the next.